Hi, Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator, and I want to show you a alternate project using the paper pumpkin that is for May called Celebrating in Color. And what I did with this paper pumpkin is I took all the pieces and parts, and I just want to show you what the pieces and parts were. There were envelopes, there were card um, pieces, and then there were some applique appliques or some embellishments. And um, I took all the different pieces. In fact, there's even a little piece here that creates a little pocket for a credit card. And I'm, I wanted to kind of um, change it up and see what I could make using all these pieces for um, the children's hospital. So I used the blank cards, which are these right here, and I made some boxes. And I will show you how I did that. So here are just some boxes. These are just some, some neat boxes. This is the front of a card blank, okay? And I just made a box. And if you look right here, you will see that it's that one, it's that card blank right there. And then they had some more blank card, white card stock. And then I made some other boxes as well as use the embellishments. So let me show you where the embellishments were. They were embellishments to be used on the cards. And instead of putting them on the cards, I went ahead and I put them on the boxes. So this is just really, uh, really an, an, easy, an easy project, but um, I was able to, to get all these boxes. And then what I did is, um, here's, the, here's the stamp set, is that, and I'm going to finish up some of the other projects. But it, it comes with these other pieces. Well, I took like um, some of these card pieces like this. It kind of had some gold foil on it. And I made some tags. And you see this piece right here that has the gold foil. So here are the tags I made using the cardstock for those for those two pieces. All I did was, was cut them so that I could go ahead and punch them with a, um, a, scallop, a scallop tag punch. I stamped, here it is. I, here it says just four. And then you have like for this one here, here's another tag I made. This was another um, card front. I just took these were little pop outs that came with the kit. I just said, just for you, you get your little, your ink spot. But then I didn't have any more use. You can see I, I have um, another tag I created here. I have this one, I'm gonna stamp that one. And I have another one. And here are, two more tags that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp those. But I didn't have any more uh, you. So what I did, and this is the, the sample I wanted to show you, is I took the, called the Amazing Thanks, and this is going to retire, but it's in, it's in the mini catalog. So it has these two dies here which when you stamp with the gold, I can kind of create the letters and then I, I, I used white cardstock to create the background. So using these, I just kind of created this little card just for you. And then I have several other that several others that I already created. I just gotta kind of go into my here they are. So here are the other ones that I'm going to go ahead and put those together. I have another piece that I'm going to turn into um, into labels. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but I do have 
see, there's a nice stamp here. There's happy. Um, that would be really nice for uh, this tag. And I could make two tags out of this one, out of this one piece and come up with four tags. So I might do that. And I don't really have a use for these, but these were also part of the set. So I'm going to put these aside. Now, what's also neat about that this is that these are the new in color pieces for paper pumpkin, and they're featuring um, Orchid Oasis. This is um, probably Parakeet Party, Starry Night. There's a Sweet Sorbet, which I think is this color here, a Tahitian Tide, which is this color here. The other thing I did, let me put these, let me put these aside. I'm, I'm, we're going to put these together. I just want to put those aside for now. I'm going to put these pieces over here. Let me move my boxes. Because the other thing I did is that these cards that I made these boxes with um, came with envelopes. So what I did is, and this is kind of a, bad example, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. This, I took the envelope, I took it apart, and I have a video for how to do this, but I took it apart, and then I resealed it so that I would have, um, and this isn't correct, because I want the smooth part of the envelope on the outside, and then I, um, so I resealed it, glued it, and then I cut it on the end, and I create um, a box. And this, these were two of kind of my um, trying to kind of figure out how I was going to do it. So they didn't really come out all that great. But what I did do is when I created these and I kind of had these seams in the back, kind of this seam right here, what I used is I used these little card packs and I'll show you kind of what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to, you could slip a tag or you could slip a little note in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, and, and I created some tags with this, with the extra cardstock that I had. But I can go ahead and punch these and I can put on, put a ribbon on and I can put a little message inside or I can just go ahead and um, create a little tag with a little, with a little uh, message in there. So here are all the little bags I made using using the envelopes and I misplaced that piece which is this piece right here which would really is, is what's really supposed to go kind of on the back of that one if you can kind of see that's what I did and I just used some tear tape to put it on there but I couldn't find it and the only thing I kind of swapped it around so um, I don't think it makes a big deal, but I think it makes a lovely little, a lovely little bag that you can use for something for, uh, you know, to celebrate. So I'm going to finish, um, I'm going to show you how to put these together, and then I will show you my final project suite um, for, uh, for these, uh, for this alternative paper pumpkin um, project. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to begin by making some tags. I'm using the tags that I um, cut using a um, using the card fronts, and I'm just adding um, the just four that goes with the U that was a punch out as part of the kit, and I'm stamping that on all the pieces. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some dimensionals because I kind of want to pop those up a little bit. I want to take advantage of that really pretty gold foiling on these tags. So I'm going to put some of the, some on the top and some on the bottom. There you go. So I have completed those tags. And now for the um, for these tags, I didn't have a U, so I cut those out using the um, the die cuts and I'm just going to add those with some 
dimensionals on the bottom of my tags very easy and it's just going to kind of make those those tags pop beautifully there they are and that takes care of my tags now remember I didn't know what I wanted to do with these um, Tahitian tied uh, pieces well I'm just going to cut those in half and I'm going to turn these into tags as well but I'm going to play these up a little bit differently I'm going to take my um, my tag top punch and I'm just going to go ahead and punch the top and then I'm going to grab my um, I'm going to line them up because I'm going to take some sentiments I'm going to line them up on a acrylic block I think I'm going to take happy I'm trying to figure out how what's going to fit but what's going to fit is happy to celebrate your day and then I'm going to fit those on the tag pick them up with an acrylic block and then I'm going to take some some coordinating ink and go ahead and print or stamp each one of those nicely with that nice coordinating color so now that I have all of those I'm going to um, take the the little um, dots that are in the new in color and I'm just going to add some there on the top I'm trying to decide what color but I'm going to go ahead and take take the um, I believe this is the sorbet color I'm just going to add that to the top of each of, of my tag I'm switching over to the Tahitian Tide and I'm just kind of uh, mixing it up a little bit just to add a little bit of, of extra um, visual interest by adding some tags now I also want to do the same thing with my um, tags with my just for you that is cut out of the white it's a basic white cardstock and it has some beautiful gold foiling and I just took some gold um, old go gold um, pearls that I had and I'm just going to kind of add those to that tag just to kind of um, let them pop a little bit as well now finally I'm going to show you how I made this box now I took the the card um, that was meant for um, just for you I am going to trim an eighth of an inch because this is the part of the card that's going to be at the bottom so it's about <clears throat> an eighth of an inch and it should be an eighth of an inch on both sides then I'm going to score <clears throat> a three-fourths of an inch all the way around that is going to be our score line for the card for both the front for both the top and the bottom of the card Once I've scored that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut just one of the lines on each of the corners. Just one. And then I'm going to miter the, um, the edges so that I have a nice um, mitered edge so that I can begin to assemble the box. And I'm going to have to do that for the top and for the bottom.
So now that we've made our boxes, we're going to go ahead and move on to making our bags. Now our bags are made out of envelopes. And these envelopes have already been um, disassembled and re-glued, making sure that they are, um, that the smooth side is on the outside. I'm now going to just cut one side, one edge of the um, envelope because that's going to be our opening. So we're going to score at one inch all the way around our opening. And then I'm going to score diagonally from where that corner is meets the one inch score lines because that is going to be our miter fold for our, for our bags. And I just simply just line it up and I can just kind of um, line that up and, and score that with my with my scoreboard. Another way to do it is simply to use your your stamp and trimmer. You want to ensure that you have your um, your bags uh, is well um, creased using your using your bone folder. You also want to make sure that you crease those corners on the bottom, which are going to create your folds. For the bottom of your bags now there's another video i will make sure that i link up here that shows you um another uh another uh paper pumpkin uh project that i use the same app um the same technique with and you just want to make sure that you have all your your creases are properly um folded uh crease with your bone folder now before I open this up, I'm going to use these little extra little tag uh, pieces that came with the kit. Now in this case I couldn't find the same color because it was lost in the middle of some other stuff. So um, I'm matching, um, I think it's Starry, Starry Sky. And instead of Tahitian Tide, I think I'm, I'm adding the Parakeet Party. But I'm going to go ahead and fold those pieces and I'm going to use my tear tape all the way around the, um, the, the, uh, the folded uh, flaps so that I can adhere those to my card, I mean rather to my bags. And what this is going to do is going to kind of help to um, camouflage a little bit of the, um, of the folds that, that uh, so you won't, you, you really can't tell that this is an envelope, see? You just go ahead and you kind of put that on the back end right there, and you can't tell that was an envelope, it just looks like a regular bag. And we're gonna do the same thing with this bag as well. Again, I'm using the um, Parakeet Party on my um, bag that's colored with Tahitian Tide. Um, because I, I, I just couldn't find the other piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to um, uh, fold over my, um, my mitered corners. And I'm going to use tear tape to adhere my um, those mitered corners to the bottom of my tag. But I always want to make sure that I use my bone folder to make sure that all those pieces and parts are, are nice and, and tightly um, tightly creased and again there'll be another video that kind of shows you this technique as well if you should have any questions um, you can refer to that and I'll have that um, linked here as well so now I just simply you know take those uh, tear those uh, tear tape pieces off and go ahead and uh, fold them back and the key part here is that when I fold them I want to use my bone folder to make sure that they crease correctly and there you go there's um, all our bags that I've, co I've coordinated hey Cat Chancellor here I wanted to show you how all my projects ended up this is my paper pumpkin kit that I was repurposing and I made these bags that I showed you and I also um, took the little pieces of paper and I stamped a little message on them. But I tied them to the bow here 
and then I added my tag. So it's just kind of a sweet little message. It's kind of tucked into the back there. So I have several of these that I did, the same concept. Just kind of tied those up. And then for these, I just used that really neat little tag and I did the same thing. I just took this neat little, little um, you're amazing and it's a stamp from the <clears throat> color and contours. I love that little stamp. Just kind of stamp that right there, just so they have just kind of a little a little note. Now these um these pieces of cards, uh, these little notes were actually from. If you go into the into the kit, um, in the kit there were these little lines, these pieces of. And here they are. They're just pieces of cards, cardstock that you could use to make this card. So instead of the card, I just took them and stamped these neat little messages and tucked them in the back of the um, the pockets. So I got all of these um, out of my kit. There's a couple I made. You know, I had like this was kind of a boo boo, so I would have had more. But I, you know, sometimes I make mistakes. But anyway, I just thought that was a really cool project as an alternative project for stamping up. So let me put these aside. And then here are the finished ones. I think you saw those. But here's all the finished ones I did using all the neat little um uh, uh for little words here. And I just tied them with different types of bow. So I actually got five boxes out of them. And I just think they just look just lovely. Just something, happy to celebrate your day. Just something um, uh, kind of cute for the kids at the children's hospital. Okay, you saw these. And then I think this was my last one. Then I ran out of tags. So here's an example of, a, of one of the tags, I'm the bags I made. Here's the, the cute little tag telling them they're absolutely amazing. And that goes, that goes tucked in there. And then here's the tag. So the other tags that, that I have that are kind of left over that can be used for other bags or goodies are these tags right here. So I just wanted to show all the things that you can do with this um, with this uh, wonderful paper pumpkin kit. There you go. So thank you for joining me, and I hope you like this. Please like and um, subscribe to my channel. Happy stamping.